YouTube. Uh, back in the shop, I took the cell out of the truck uh, today. I had been running uh, pretty high on the amperage in the mid 30s. Had the uh, potassium hydroxide, uh, the electrolyte in the distilled water, mixed way too rich. Um, and figured while I had it out, I'd try to do a few improvements to the cell. Um, what I've done is I've put some, um, the high quality, I went ahead and spent the six bucks a piece for them, um, fittings to where I can quick connect the cooling lines going to the um, cooling tower and also seal this off. And normally, you know, we have an electrolyte level in here that um, it makes it a lot easier getting this unit in and out without having to worry about a nasty caustic electrolyte by pulling the hoses off. Um, also, while I had it off, I added another fitting here at the bottom, which is if in the event I ever do this again, which I'm sure I will, and you get too um, rich of an electrolyte mixture, hence draw too many amperage, um, I can now just, without having to do too much, I can come in here and simply drain uh, some of the electrolyte out of the reactor to dilute it. And one thing I have noticed about the uh, potassium hydroxide, unlike any of the other electrolytes, as you're using this unit, keep in mind if the level goes down, we're only adding pure distilled water. We're not adding an electrolyte, just the distilled water. And uh, what I've noticed is the potassium hydroxide doesn't really seem to leave the cell. Um, I'm sure maybe there's a chemist out there who can explain that, but uh, it's like once I get the silly thing charged, it's just a matter of maintaining the level with um, distilled water and the amperage tends to stay up. So don't really know why um, that's taking place. Another thing I'd caution anybody who wants to uh, uh, use an acrylic type setup like I've done is when I was adding these uh, quick connect fittings, um, got quarter inch national pipe thread, I cracked it two places right here. I did manage to get it sealed up, but it just made me sick. It pretty much canceled out the cell uh, enclosure. But I'm going to put it back in and try it like this. So be careful. Be careful. It doesn't take much to crack this stuff. It is durable heat resistant, but uh, it is certainly not unbreakable. Uh, I've had several ask me about how I was maintaining the reactor electrolyte level. And it's really a pretty simple setup. It's just a uh, caustic type fluid uh, magnetic float switch. And the float switch is um, tied into a time delay relay to where you hit a bump and it activates. Um, it won't energize the pump. Um, and this has to stay calling uh, for approximately five minutes before it will send a signal to close the relay to allow the pump to come on to bring the electrolyte um, up to its level. So that's pretty much how that is. I did notice that uh, maybe it was the rich mixture. I sure had a lot of buildup on my cell plates this time around. Now I've got most of it cleaned off and I'm thinking about going ahead and taking the plate stack apart and scuffing it up a little more. But otherwise, it uh, looks good. I'll hopefully have this thing back together tonight and maybe get it back on the truck before bedtime. Alright, people, post your comments. Uh, peace.